All right, so we're out here getting some cleanup done, getting things ready to go for putting in our, uh, our structures and storage areas for our feed and uh, basically what's going to act as our storefront here on the farm. Um, but while we're doing it, we're going to be taking out these trees here and not, not the big ones, this big one here on the corner stay and the big one over on that corner staying, but all these other trees here, um, that are kind of blocking this corner of, uh, of, of our property. Um, they're going to come out so that we can take and, and gravel this in really nicely. There's a bunch of junk glass, all kinds of stuff from, from, uh, years gone by, um, well before we started farming the property, but it's, uh, we're, we're getting all this cleaned up and then we're gonna pull these trees out. But in the meantime, um, and I don't know how much of it's left, but in the meantime, we're cutting out some of these branches and, uh, and getting them to the pigs who are in these hard paddocks. Now these are training paddocks. They look terrible because it's been pouring down rain for the past several days. Normally we have a nice stand of hay. Uh, soon we're gonna be using wood chips to keep this dry and, and, and whatnot. But uh, the pigs don't hate the mud, especially when it's chilly in the morning, but it gets really, really warm in the evenings. They, they, they roll around and get a nice coating on them, but they are tearing these branches up, getting uh, getting the supplemental nutrition. If nothing's going to waste um, from, from clearing out that small stand behind us. And uh, most of these pigs will be out on pasture this week, but um, you know, getting them, getting them used to eating the greens and everything. I, I don't have to teach them much. You give pigs something to eat and, and they go at it. But you know, if you got if you got pigs and they're in a spot that doesn't have any natural forage anymore, I mean, they went through this paddock so fast. It's it's not very big, and there's a lot of pigs in here. Um, I mean, they got plenty of space to move around and everything, but there just wasn't much. It, it doesn't last very many days, um, as far as the the greens that were in here. So they'll be out on pasture this week. But in the meantime, while we're cleaning out this corner, they're going to get a lot of uh, a lot of these. Uh, it looks like mostly maple and oak uh, branches, to, and they. They love it. It's a nice treat for them. Uh, it's a great place to put it for us. You know, a few sticks to clean up, although they, these younger shoots, they, I haven't found very many leftover sticks after throwing them uh, throwing them, them over to these pigs. So anyway, if you're if you're doing any any tree work and uh, and you know somebody with pigs and you want, want to take some branches to them, there's nothing else. It's a lot of fun to watch them tear them up, but it's great supplement, supplemental nutrition. And uh, it's a, a good use of... Um, well, it avoids waste. I mean, you can compost that sort of stuff, and, and there, there's always, you know, nature has a way of just using um, itself to regenerate itself. But uh, but we find it's just a great, great source of extra nutrition, and it's it's fun to watch the pigs just pick <clears throat> pick these branches apart. 